According to Forrester, in 2022, speed to analytics is one of the biggest challenges companies face when trying to execute on their data and analytics vision. In this video, we'll talk about data ops, which enables the seamless and timely flow of data within your organization. So what actually is data ops? And let's start by defining it. Data ops is short for data operations, which is a new approach that focuses on the seamless and efficient management of data within your organization. Data ops was inspired by DevOps, agile and quality control approaches, and it borrows many of their principles and practices, but specializes for data. Data ops really aims to bridge the gap between data engineering, data science and operations teams by promoting continuous integration and delivery, collaboration, and automation of all data-related processes. It really emphasizes the need for optimization and development of data pipelines with a super high level of data quality and data governance. And trust me, I know that that was like a super packed definition, but I think that we can break all that down into these six key building blocks. Collaboration, automation, CICD, monitoring, version control, and data governance. All of these help power data ops, but let's talk about them individually and start with collaboration. Data ops promotes cross-functional collaboration and brings people together from data engineering, data science, analysts, and operations. This collaboration helps streamline communication, align goals, and share knowledge and expertise across all of your different business domains. Two, automation. Automation plays a vital role in DevOps. It involves automating repetitive tasks such as data ingestion, transformation, and validation, as well as deployment of infrastructure, applications, and pipelines. And this really helps minimize manual errors, improve the quality, and just overall accelerate your data lifecycle. Three, continuous integration and delivery, or just CI, CD. Data Ops borrows from Agile and DevOps methodologies, which is really where CI-CD came from. CI-CD focuses on delivering data quickly and predictably, while also ensuring a high level of quality, reliability, and security. And I know, I'm sorry that that was a lot of whys, but I, I didn't know how else to say it. This approach enables organizations to respond quickly to rapidly changing business needs and actually get their insights out in a timely manner. Number four, monitoring. Data Ops borrows quality control approaches like statistical process control and total quality management. Data Ops really emphasizes the importance of monitoring data pipelines and processes to identify key issues and bottlenecks. Monitoring tools and techniques really help track data quality, performance, and availability, which enables proactive troubleshooting and a timely response to any potential problems, which is always good. Five, version control. Similar to other software development practices, Data Ops promotes the use of version control systems like Git, so you can manage changes to data infrastructure, application configuration, code, and sometimes even data itself. This ensures that you can go back and audit everything or roll back to previous versions if you need to. Last but not least, and this is by far the most exciting one, data governance. Data Ops really emphasizes the need for proper data governance practices. It includes establishing data quality standards, data cataloging, data lineage, all to improve the usability and real value of your data. Data governance ensures compliance with regulations, access control, and really just maintains the integrity of your data, which enhances the trust that the rest of your organization has with data when making important decisions. So those are kind of the six key building blocks that really make up data ops. We also have a video going over GitOps, and in the future, we plan on creating a video comparing DevOps with GitOps with data ops. So Stay tuned if you're interested in that. By adopting data ops practices, you can accelerate data delivery, improve data quality, and keep your costs down. Overall, data ops aims to streamline data related processes, improve and foster collaboration in your organization, and enable your organization to just leverage data more effectively. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day.